Welcome back. We fresh off tour. Slime's broke ass, low budget show. Still broke. I got a very special motherfucking guest today. All around the world, everybody tuning in, make some motherfucking noise for Carrie Folk. 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 <laughs> now that's an echo right there. I told okay. you. Don't okay. worry about the sound effects. I got you. All right. That was official. Hi, Swan. We got you. Hello. That's Randy. We got you. Hey, Randy. Hey. He, uh, he a little, don't mind him. You know okay. what I'm saying? You live in LA, right? Yes. So it's good weed out there. I don't smoke weed. You don't smoke weed? Well, I don't buy weed. I was about to say, we just gonna lie right now, cause I was like, you putting me in an awkward position because now I got to lie to everybody. I seen you smoke weed. I seen you smoke approximately two weeds. Go ahead. It's got a little fronto in it, but it's just a little bit, a little tiny bit. Who's some the... other rappers out of uh, Arkansas? Uh, <clears throat> Are you the first out of Lil Rock? Uh, I mean, I'm not the first. So actually, there was this group called... I might be wrong, but I think they were called the Little Rock Players, and they had this song called Mrs. Jones. But they sampled Mrs. Jones? Yeah. And um, they actually was like the only ones that like had like a major deal. But other than that, no, nah, not really. I mean, my biological dad used to be like a really popping thing in Little Rock. He used to open up for the Hot Boys when he used to come. Oh, he was a rapper? Mm-hmm. Damn. And, I didn't, and it's funny because like I knew his music, you're not gonna like, say his name. Huh? You're not gonna say well, his, his name. name is Ball Jones. But yeah. Musics. It's funny because like you can look him up. He has a song called Crushing from like the early 2000s. And this thing is like on a private plane with lean and do rags. And what? Throwback jerseys and a Hummer truck and all that stuff. I want to look this up right now. Yeah, look it up. It's actually really entertaining. So you got it in your blood. You had no choice. But I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, I didn't meet him till I was like 20. Oh, shit. Yeah, but I knew his music when I was a kid, cause like that song. But like, you didn't know it was his dad? Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, that's crazy. And so then, um, we used to sing that song when we was little, like, crush uh, this, crush that, crush it all out. And then like, I met my biological mom. Talking about like, on the plane with Lean, you described it perfectly. It starts off, he's literally sleeping. Literally what he's doing. Like, Talk, starts off with a nap. I, I like to take naps too. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I can co-sign this. I see some booty shaking. I see some questionable individuals. Yeah. <laughs> with braids. And long braids. And hella braids. Can't trust no light skinned nigga with long ass braids. I'm sorry. That's rule number one in the hood. But funk is just a feeling. You know? Yeah. Like funk is, is literally, it's all just feelings. To me it'd be like taking when you down. Mm -hmm. And that point where you just finna be like, ah, oh, fuck this shit. But then you flip it and say, I don't give a fuck no more. And you just go, ah! <laughs> to me, that's the funk, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to me. I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what I think. Yeah. And, oh yeah, you know, my mama, uh, I was on the same shit. My mom was playing that shit. I told you, my mom used to get with Rick James and shit, you know what I'm saying? She was doing that thing with Rick James, so I done heard all that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I might have a little Rick James DNA. I don't know. I don't know how that work. You know so what I'm saying? Rick, so Rick James is partially, maybe, 15% my father. I don't okay, know. Right. I don't know how well, genetics work. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think that I don't think that's how it works, but you know. Could be possible. I'm just gonna be hopeful. Shout out Rick James. Shout out to Rick James. Mm. And um I had put out a mixtape called Laugh Now, Die Later. That also has goddamn money and tundra. Okay. But uh, yeah, and niggas was fucking with that mixtape a lot. It was getting a lot of attention. Like Hot New Hip Hop had it on the on their front page and shit. And then that's when they found me and I was like, yo, we wanna remix No Small Talk. We wanna put it on his Stone Mountain mixtape. And I was like, cool. Them niggas pulled up to Little Rock and came to 
the house that me and my boyfriend was staying in, which was basically like a trap. <laughs> and you I was like, oh, yeah, I was like, real. oh, okay, like. So, um, so yeah, I was cool with it. They remixed the song, boom, that happened. We should preface this by letting everybody know, if you don't already know, I hate Drake, okay? I'm my least favorite person on earth. Okay. So when she told me the story, I was elated. Not that my hate has anything to do with her and Drake, but I hate Drake, okay? <laughs> That's but what I wanted to say. He asked me if he could remix my song, and I was like, no thank you, and he about to beat my ass. He gonna catch me in a little rock and throw them hands. <laughs> no, but like, I just didn't want to do it because I like all my everybody around me was like, why did you not do that? Like, they was just so like shocked, and I was just like, well, honestly, I don't think I'm ready for that amount of attention, and I also don't want my song to be Drake's song. It's a very mature decision. Not yeah. many people would have made that. And I was 22 call. at the time, so it was yeah. So it was like everybody around me was like, you you're fucking crazy. Told that nigga no small talk. Motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? No, that's not what I said. I said no, thank you. You said bring me a hundred million dollars, like <laughs> Birdman them, and then we could talk. You feel me? That's what just big boss moves. Hundred mil. Like I was I never. Think the pizza's here. Oh. That's... I don't know who else would ring the doorbell at a time like this. Hey, 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 What's the, <coughs> what's your? <coughs> hey, y'all in these bags, man. Shit. They in them crunch yours, this too. My nigga going in. Randy gonna beat y'all ass, man. You remember the first time you smoked weed ever in life? Um, I can't remember the exact like, I don't know, it's very foggy. <laughs> I just remember skipping school, mm -hmm. hanging out at a bando mm -hmm. with my hood friends, mm -hmm. and we smoked weed. That We got weed on your name in uh, Detroit at Starbucks. Yeah, so tell them about that. We ran out of weed, everybody was fucking stressing the fuck out. This, in this is the last stop on the tour. Second to last. But Chicago, we was gonna have weed. It's the only, like, we had weed every city. There was never a worry. Now, the last stop before we home, no weed. Excuse me. So, motherfuckers are stressing out, screaming, all kind of shit. Ah, Noah walking down the street like, ah, fuck the This nigga Noah so kept cold. screaming, bro. It's so cold, why are we here? <laughs> Zig, why are we here? <laughs> Everybody was just screaming. Yeah, no in stock, like went to Starbucks, got to talking to the dude, like, yeah, we in town for the show, woo, woo, woo. The homie was like, Carrie Folk? Y'all with Carrie Folk? Like, oh, shit, like, woo, 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 what y'all need? No, like, we need weed right now, woo. <laughs> so got weed at Starbucks, it was crazy.
Well, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I do, I do little kid parties and shit, but uh, <laughs> fuck them kids. I do it for the bitches. <laughs> All of it. Keisha, stop calling my phone. You ain't getting no money from me. You want me to get in SpongeBob suit? I do that too, fool. Ladies, uh, Madison Square Garden. That night I did. I did eat Lazo's ass. I did. If I mess curve here to make you squirt. Ladies, I don't do, I don't do husbands. Unless that nigga wanna watch, he can watch. Yeah. Watch a master at work. That master curry. I was gonna tell you how this one time uh, some cartoon porn came on, mm -hmm. and uh, I did some things I regret. And also, when we was in Montreal, I got real drunk, and I thought I got one uh, egg McMuffin, but I got two. Oh I, yeah, you I, fucked them. Well, no, I ate one. <laughs> but when I woke up in the morning. <laughs> you almost dropped this shit on my motherfucking head. I ate one of the Egg McMuffin and them Canadian Egg McMuffins is so fucking good. But then when I woke up in the morning, uh... Don't look at me get the pizza, just pretend I'm not here. When I woke up in the morning, I was laying next to a... a another Egg McMuffin that I didn't eat. That didn't have no clothes on. And it didn't have no clothes on, and I was just looking at it like... What did we do last night? And judging by its appearance, I might have fucked that egg muffin. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It was buttery soft. You feel me? I don't know. What you just say it again? One more time. I, I threw the money and then I said, suck my dick. You threw the money and you said, suck your dick. Mm -hmm. That sound baller to me. Mm -hmm. That's that's Carrie for worst day. She threw her money. I mean, because I wanted the money. It's my money. Me and be yelling and yelling. Well, I'm just gonna let this man yell, yell, yell. I gotta yell. Cause I was like, are they hurt. fighting? And they like, no, they were just talking. It was, but it was just like, bro, I love you, bro. I fucking love you. I'll die for you, bro. Like, why are you yelling that? Oh, it's about the green room. Yeah. Oh, we was just drunk. Well, I was drunk. You were definitely drunk. He was telling me some bullshit, and I was like, nigga, that ain't no. You were definitely drunk. Do you it remember what? You, do you remember that. what you said to me? I said you was broad as hell. No, but you, you told me that I'm like your brother in a woman's body. <laughs> I remember saying that. That's tight, though. That's how I feel. <laughs> and I was just like... My sister, you know what I'm saying? Did you didn't say sister? You was like, you're like my brother but in a woman's body. And I was like, and I knew that, I knew but that... But you know what I meant. No, I knew that that, like, I was like, wow, thank you, Slob. Like... We mark you. I appreciate that. And I like how you how you asked me if I was at a museum. Well, because when we was in Montreal, you was trying to go to that museum. You did go to the museum. I did go to the museum. You also thought I fucked that girl. I did. I, I seen the look on your face, and I seen the look on her face. And I was like, ooh. I didn't fuck that girl. Whatever. All right? I did All not. I know is I didn't know where you was at, and then I get on the Instagram, and I see you and this girl, and I'm like, Mm. I did not have sexual relations. Y'all at the museum alone, huh? Mm. We was hanging out. Mm. Funny. Mm. And she has a boyfriend. Mm. Montreal, that don't mean nothing. Boyfriend is irrelevant. Mm. The French culture. They Some very have, beautiful people there. Yeah, they all have lovers. They're very free with sex. You ain't got to worry about that. Boyfriend don't mean nothing. I wasn't trying to get at her. Boyfriend just mean their main thing. They still can have side pieces. I wasn't trying to get at her, though. Why are you so defensive? I, you noticed this whole time I didn't say nothing. You said this whole time you, you Because were... I took offense to that when you told me that. He was like, yeah, I was going to mess with you on the bus and ask you if you ate the pussy, because I <coughs> eat pussy, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop it on the right part. You ready? Yeah. Let's keep it 100. You ain't never met a bitch that's like me. Let's keep it 200. You can never pull a bitch that's like me. 
Cause I keep it so player, I might run for mayor. Bump and pack, give out my media player. I just down today, did your bitch a big favor. Action that pass on me, be a good neighbor. I'm rolling with dead cred, get mummified. Just sparked another L, now we getting zombified. I'm harassing the beat. That's a hate crime when they seven on the beat. Nigga, that's a homicide. I touch hella bread like the kid working wonder. I'm close to the edge, but I'm never going under. Gave him my email, he asked for my number. I'm ice cold, nigga, coming straight from the tundra. <laughs> Um, I say, um, I say, I'm ice cold, nigga, I'm pose a bear pussy. I'm not a killer, but please don't push me. You don't let me, but you're always looking. You stay in my kitchen, trying to see what I'm cooking. I keep the block hot with the shit that I drop. There is no doubt that the shit won't stop. I ran the end up, it's not in the forecast. I double lap, she ain't first, you your last. I didn't just regular the media, y'all gas. Premium shit is the whip as a whole ass. I'm not with the chase, I'll fall back. You wanna play games, I'll cancel that ass. The hood red gas, she's like, wait a water and shit. Run up on me, bitch, and I have the back space. You a ice cold, nigga, coming straight from the igloo. I'm ice cold, so being ice not an issue. I'm ice cold, nigga, coming straight from the tundra. I'm ice cold, nigga, coming straight from the tundra. I'm ice cold, nigga, coming straight from the tundra. I'm ice cold, nigga, coming straight from the tundra. Cause I'm icy. I'm icy. I'm icy. I'm icy. Burn. You broke the trash can? Wow. And you started the song again? No, it was the end. It was the oh. tail end.